Hello, my name is Allison Elizabeth Burns and I am a dance artist. I'm trying a new experiment today called Choreographer's Commentary. And what I wanna do is watch a choreography with a choreographer who created it and discuss the work in real time. So what this is gonna look like is I'm gonna throw up on the screen a video of a work that I made and I'm going to talk you through different sections of it, let you in on the process a little bit, and what I see when I look at this choreography so that you might borrow my lens and maybe see the same thing. Of course, you're welcome to see different things. Uh, that is one of the things a lot of artists talk about is that their work is open to interpretation. So never feel like there's a right and wrong way to look at choreographic work. All I'm doing is letting you see one way to see it. All right, so we're gonna start with a short piece that I created for video called All Dressed Up to Walk the Dog. So now I'm gonna throw it up on the screen so you can see the video. And I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit so that we can keep talking. All right, before I get started, I just want to talk about the context of this video. I created this for the 2020 Montreal Fringe Festival and a segment of that called Bouge DC, which is a festival dedicated to dance in Montreal. So this is specifically a dance video um, commissioned by those two festivals. So here we go. This is my patio just outside my home here where I'm currently sitting talking to you. Did a couple different views of it to set the scene. And the rest of the film you'll see is all filmed from this one angle. What I wanted to do is play with depth where I'm doing this project by myself. Uh, I am not necessarily moving the camera, but I can move away from the camera and therefore expose more of my body. That's little Hecate, that's our new pandemic puppy. So as you've seen, different feet walking by, different shoes. Of course, they're all my feet. And what I wanted to do is start this with a little foot dance. And for me, the different shoes have different personalities. So you can see I've dressed my legs differently to match the shoes that I'm wearing. There's also this idea of coming and going, right? On the left-hand side of the screen is my home, and on the right is the big wild, wide world out there. Now I'm beginning to move a little further away from the screen, from the camera rather, so that I feel more of the screen. You can start to see my legs. And then we're introducing right now the main three foot characters. So I had the sneakers that you just saw, and then these little bare feet, and these blue high heels. So for each of these three, like I said, there's a personality, and when you start to see more of my body that translates to a more full body intention that I'm working with. This is of course good to know it's all improvised. So I had this concept that I wanted to fulfill. So within that range I had um, a, a direction for myself but the movement itself is improvised. And then what I do or what I did is, is edit right with the, with the recorded footage I cut it up in ways that highlighted the moments that I appreciated from the improvisation so that's kind of like cheating at my choreography so now we're getting into it more you're seeing the three different ones that I've highlighted the bare feet with the little black dress here it is the sneakers that you just saw with my uh, more hip-hop gear and then the blue high heels with my kind of fun business so there is a, a sway with the dress. I'm playing with how it moves and that translates into a lot of circles. I'm going to be doing a lot of circles with my hips and my shoulders and my arms. For these heels, waves were key. Because I have less mobility with my feet, it was more about anchoring my feet down and then swaying the rest of my body. So playing with the, the difference between being stagnant and solid and fluid and mobile. And here with the sneakers, it's all about folding. So folding at the 
at the um, joints, folding my elbows, folding. Oh, here we go. We see the circles now. Boom. Making the dress move. Focus on my pelvis. Boom, boom, boom. You can see my wrists are doing circles as well. And here we go back to folding, folding at the knees, folding at the ankles, folding at the hips, folding at the fingers and wrists. Exactly. Here we go, our wave again. You see that fluid upper body, stable lower body, folding against the wall. Now I'm quite far away from the camera. You can see my whole body and you can see it in the context and we can remember now like how far we've come. And it's going to come backwards now to finish off the piece. And you can hear the voice now faintly of Erica Lee Martin, who is the composer of this music we're listening to. It's actually a piece um, that does have lyrics, but she's removed the majority of the lyrics. This is like a pre release um, because this piece was not yet released on her latest album with the full lyrics when uh, we agreed or she agreed to let me use it for this music video. So what she did is she took a look at the, the video edited and all and uh, proposed this song as a match and then once we agreed that yes this is a good match it had the kind of like fun personality quirkiness to it that that I think I was also exploring with the choreography. She then went ahead and edited the sound so that it uh, would build slower and kind of match more what I was doing. And the rhythm just really kind of suited, which is great. And uh, that's how that worked out. That, that, that was a really quick turnaround. This whole project took me only a couple days um, from conception to you know, coordinating the music with Erica, filming, editing, all that beautiful stuff. So it's a really quick, fun project. And it's something I learned a lot about um, video creation kind of post project. This is a lot of exploring for me. Especially that framing that I was talking so much about earlier was something I was really proud of exploring in this one. Something uh, with room to grow. I'm sure you can see all the uh, focus elements. And there's little Hekka to finish it off. That was before she ever got her own haircut. So there we go, all dressed up to watch, to walk the dog, a dance video in the time of COVID-19. So concept and performance. So I didn't, I didn't actually credit myself as choreographer for this one, even though I've been saying it's choreography, but yes, I did improvise it. So I created the concept and I performed it. So those are the credits I gave myself. And then music, Erica Lee Martin, of course, featuring Hecate, and that's how you spell my little puppy's name. Uh, and it was created for Bouge DC, and this is not a fringe June 2020. So that I called it the Montreal Fringe Festival, but in fact, for that edition, they called it this is not a fringe because we're uh, we're staying inside for the most part and isolated, so they weren't actually able to um, do the 2020 festival. So there we go. That is my little choreographic commentary, choreographer's commentary on a dance video that I myself created. Now, what I would like to do next is invite another choreographer to work with me in this mode of discussing their choreography while we watch it together. So I hope that you will come back and join me for that adventure. If you want to look at more of my work, if you want to see that video without me babbling along beside it, please visit alisoneb.com. You can check out my stuff. You can check out my bio. You can check out all the other projects I do, most of which have to do with dance because of course it is my passion. So I hope that this uh, enables you to feel a little bit more confident in talking about dance in some small way. Uh, leave me a message uh, on one of my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. You can email me at alisoneb.com and let me know uh, if there's a choreographer you would like me to feature in choreographer's commentary. If there's a piece which uh, you are very curious to, to see the dancers or choreographers lens on, I would be more than happy to oblige. If there are specific questions that you have about dance and choreography. I am always happy to hear those. Um, it is a wonderful, beautiful platform and art form, and I would be very pleased to uh, to talk more about it because I am a dance nerd, self-described. 
All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.